Hi everyone. Uh, here we are. Um, I'm taking a walk <laughs> um, up the road where our property um, doesn't start, but up the road where we come into the property. Um, looking at this house, there was a gentleman here that passed away recently, and looks like this house is abandoned. That's a shame. You know, and I don't know what they're going to do with the property, but um, no one has been here for almost two years. And um, it's just a shame. It was a nice gentleman. Had two dogs that used to come into our, our property. Of course, we don't have a fence that will prevent them from coming in. But here's our property. All this right here. And past the RV pad, um, we have a, just a little over two acres, probably 2.3, 2.4, something like that. Um, really nice, really nice oak trees in the back. I counted for half the property around 20 oak trees. So I want to plant not more oak trees, um, but cedar cedar grows really nice here I don't know how long it takes for cedar to grow but I just love the smell and the fact that cedar is um, a bug repellent naturally <laughs> so um, that's what I'm looking to do because there sure are a lot of bugs on the property of course we're out in the country so it's really nice so let me go ahead and take a stroll up the road we have a piece of property in the back not ours but they have a, a couple of horses and um, we actually saw a colt a couple years ago and um, I'll see if I can grab that video and and post it on here and we took a video of it and the colt was playing peekaboo with his mama and in one of the the um, jaunts around the barn he fell. <laughs> he was so cute. But, um, let's see if I can get a video of the horse. It's, it's a little uphill here. Just a small uphill. But being that I'm from Miami and it's really flat, you know, I have to use my good leg muscles to get up here. I don't have bad leg muscles. I just have to use my muscles. Let's see if the horsey will come out. Your horsey. I don't know your name, but I want to catch you on video. Hi, beautiful. Hi. What you doing? What are you doing? Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Oh, yes. Yes, you're going to talk to me? Hi. Hi, here comes the mayor. Hi, Pina. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Yes, you are. Hi. Hi, you friendly? You friendly? Yeah, I know. No, no. <laughs> I don't have an apple for you. But I don't dare feed you because I don't know what uh, where your owners feed you. Yeah, but you're beautiful. Thank you for coming up and saying hello. Hi. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? Yeah, there you go. There you go, mommy. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for coming up and say, saying hello to me. I know. What does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah, you're trying to tell me something, huh? I know. <laughs> I wish I knew horse talk. Yeah. But thank you. Thank you, buddy. 
I think you're a female. I don't think you're a male. I don't think they would put a female and a male together. So you must be a female. Two females. You're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. So let's go up the road. Hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it and I could spend a longer time than I did just interacting with that beautiful horse in nature. It's so wonderful. And they came out. Look at He's going back into the barn. He went. He came out and greeted me. Now he's back into the barn. Isn't that something? I tell you, that's great. Of course, you know, animals have a way of sensing that people who don't do them any harm, they have a sense on that. And I, I thank God every day that he's giving me the the spirit to be able to get along with nature. I, um, it's just something that is a gift. And here's a lake back here. Um, this doesn't look to be like it's a flowing. I wouldn't get in it. I think it's just, uh, from drainage ditches. And here's a home that I really like. I want to see if I could find out who the, the builder is. Because so I think this is a home that um, will fit well in the property. And of course he has a barn back there. And um, let me just go back. It's really hot here. So, I'm just going to go back to the property. But we came down here um, in the Jaco Seneca, and it did fine. It did really good. Um, I thought that some of these roads were just going to be too narrow, especially the one in the corner to make the turn. But no, it did fine. Of course, I got out of the RV and say, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. And um, I gave directions, so that helps. You have a spotter to guide the driver in uh, tight turns and stuff like that. You really need that, especially on a almost 40-foot RV and with a tow vehicle in the back. So, yeah. But uh, this is our view when we come into our property. So, nice shady area with those trees. This is a drainage ditch. Um, the county does come in and cut along the drainage ditch because it needs to be clear. So, here we go. I did buy them. Um, Kind of off the subject here but I had to buy some boots <laughs> because when you walk the property I didn't want to step into anything with my city shoes that could have uh, caused harm to me so I went ahead and bought some boots steel toe boots that is so very comfortable boots too I'll take a video shot of them in a little bit but yep here we are so peaceful here and you know in the in the fall and spring we see a lot of cardinals here beautiful beautiful birds but I haven't seen one yet not on the property my husband did see one yesterday but we haven't seen any on the property as we uh, had previously seen in the past. So, here we go. This was the original uh, one acre that we had bought and then the one next to it had gone for sale. And we purchased it, put in a road 
put in an RV pad because we saved the original acre for when we put in our, our home, our permanent home. Here we are, plenty of room to grow, plenty of room. Now we do want to make some improvements and one of the improvements is uh, we want to put a deck that goes from the stairs, the end of the stairs, all the way out for maybe 14 feet. And then alongside, we want to put like a storage building and um, see how that works. We're gonna try to stake it out so we could get, kind of get an idea where we want it and how big to make it. And that's the plan. And as promised, here are my work boots. Nice, huh? I like them. They're really comfortable, by the way. Okay, everybody, signing off.